It's been three years since the last video covering the 21 Pilots story. In the previous two videos we talked about the band's rise from relative obscurity to the heights of commercial and critical success that they've reached with Blurry Face and Trench. In this video we will cover what has happened since then as the band has been navigating this success over the years, as well as covering what appears to be the finishing up of the Clancy storyline that has been told through their albums. We will also discuss what I think is coming next from the band. The last video ended with the release of the band's sixth album, Scaled and Icy. To call Scaled and Icy a divisive album would be an understatement. Upon its release on May 21st, 2021, it was clear that this was a different kind of album. Both sonically and thematically and visually, it seemed different from the rest of the discography that the band was building up to this point. Looking back at what we know now, this actually makes a lot of sense. I think a lot of this was all planned in the months after the release of Trench, but when the pandemic happened and the realisation of not being able to tour the next part in the Trench storyline seemed a real possibility, I think the decision to create a more scaled back and isolated album was made. Hence the album Scaled and Icy. Some more evidence that suggests this is the interview that Tyler Joseph did with NME in 2019. There's definitely an end game. There's a story. I think I was very specific that there's a reason why the record ends with Leave the City. And the song itself is kind of a cliffhanger. I mean, the whole thing was it's setting up what's next. He then goes on to explain. There's a character that hasn't been talked about on any record yet that plays a huge role in the narrative that obviously will need to be talked about and it's probably where we're going next. Doesn't it seem that in that last bit specifically, he's talking about the character of Clancy, which of course is the name of the next album after Scaled and Icy. This idea of Scaled and Icy being a stepping stone to Clancy is almost confirmed in the interview Tyler Joseph did with Apple Music in 2020, where we can assume he's talking about what would at this point be the upcoming Scaled and Icy album. No, I, I'm writing a record right now and I'm not sure when it'll be released, but it, it's definitely gonna be released sooner than we were planning on releasing a record. You know, I don't know if it's this like in-between record or if it's a continuation of the narrative and where we left off. It's kind of hard for me to tap into the story of Trench and what we've been building on up until that point without being out there, without touring, without having those live shows, without interacting with our fans. In the end, Scaled and Icy kind of ended up being both. Sure. It was a different kind of album to the rest, but it still absolutely carried on the Clancy storyline, with the name of the record itself being an anagram for Clancy is Dead, as well as the Clancy storyline being a part of some of the music videos, as well as the Takeover tour, and of course you can't forget about the live event, which was also very lore heavy. The Takeover tour was also interesting, just because of how different it was to the band's previous tours. There are multiple reasons for this, but the first being that this was the first, and as of now, only time that the band has had a full touring band with them. Also, while the band was touring as part of the Emotional Roadshow in 2016 and 2017, the band did the Tour de Columbus in their home city, where they played smaller gigs, building up to a more traditional arena show. It was this approach that was used for the takeover tour in most of the cities visited. Covid clearly had a massive impact here when it came to the scope of the tour, and with the band doing shows in Denver, Los Angeles, Chicago, Boston, Columbus, Atlanta and London during this time, they also did festival appearances across Europe and Mexico. Overall, the band did 35 shows over two legs for Scaled and Icy, which is a stark contrast to the previous 115 shows over five legs that they did for Trench. On January the 8th, 2023, the band would do a YouTube live stream celebrating a decade since Vessel. The live stream was to raise money for Make-A-Wish Foundation, and also on this day, a special vinyl edition of the album was released. During this time, the band also released a third live album, MTV Unplugged. Recorded in May 2022, but released a year later, it was part of the MTV Unplugged series, where bands re-record their songs, normally acoustic. Whilst performing, the band decided to mix some of their songs together whilst also getting audience participation, as well as this being a very rare time where we hear Josh sing on an album. Now, for the past few years up to this point, hints of the continuation of the Clancy storyline told in the Trench album were being teased, however nothing really big had happened yet. That all changed however on the 15th of February 2024. Exactly a thousand days since the release of Scaled and Icy, 21 Pilots fans woke up to red tape covering the previous albums on streaming services. Fans also received letters from the band that talks about the website dema.org.info, the website I discussed in the previous video, which is where the teasers for the previous two albums were found. 
This demo.info website is where a large amount of the lore of the albums can be found, mostly in the form of letters written by a character called Clancy, who of course would go on to be the source of the name of this new album. Normally, with new 21 Pilots albums, also comes new logos and colour schemes, and this one was no different. Over the next few days, posters and billboards would show up in cities across the world, showcasing the new colour scheme for the album, as well as the new modified logo. Whilst the story of these albums were of course being hinted at in the music and the videos, it was rarely explicitly mentioned in the music itself, or by the band at all. That changed on the 22nd of February, when the I Am Clancy video was uploaded to the band's YouTube channel. For the first time, the band was explaining the lore directly. The video makes clear two important things. One, that the events of the previous album were a performance within the storyline of Trench, thus explaining the thematic shift that that album took. The second is that the video I Am Clancy, well, explains who Clancy is, and it's Tyler himself. And the first line of the description reads, next week a new chapter begins, but today we take a look back on how we got here. Exactly a week later, the album was officially announced as Clancy, and with it came the band's first single from it, Overcompensate. Some of the first words we hear off this first single are Welcome back to Trench and I created this world to feel some control Destroy it if I want so I sing Salo Felina Both of these lyrics reference Trench More specifically the 11th track on the album, Bandito Proving right in the first few lines that this is a direct continuation of the Trench storyline <laughs> especially the Welcome Back to Trench line. This isn't the only song on the album that references previous songs. Paladin Straight references both Bandito, I could take the higher road, but I know that I'm going low. I'm a band, I'm a bandito. On the ground are banditos. And Nico and the Niners, both from Trench. Paladin Straight also references the track Fairly Local from Blurry Face. Yo, this song will never be on the radio. Even if I could put a pick in the people with a vote, it's a few to prowl in the emotional. So few. So proud. So emotional. Hello, Clancy. It was also announced round about this time that every track on the album would be getting its very own music video to go along with it. Whilst this isn't unheard of, it is pretty rare to see. However, it was this extra time needed to create the music videos that led to the album's delay. The album did finally come out on May 24th, 2024 to both commercial and critical success, along with all music videos that were then yet to be released. Except for the video for Paladin Straight, but more on that later. I've previously done a video going over every single album cover 21 Pilots have ever done, and I will leave a link to that in the description. But when it comes to Clancy, the album cover is like nothing we have ever seen before from the band. For starters, it features both members of the band on the front of the album cover, something we haven't seen outside of the Japanese regional exclusive edition of Vessel. Both Tyler and Josh are seen in their Clancy and the Torchbearer character outfits respectively. Brandon Reich returns this time for the cover. Unlike with his previous album artwork that he's done with the band, we are yet to have a real insight on the process and the meaning behind this one, but he has liked to comment on Instagram that theorised that the cover could be designed to look scrapbookish, as if Clancy himself made it, similar to the many letters that go along with the music's release. The text that reads Clancy is new for this album, and replaces the band's logo which we would typically see. The text is also the same font that we see around the posters for the album's teaser and is the same font we see on the fabric strips Tyler is wearing. A couple other interesting things to note on the cover are the colours used in its background. I don't think it's a coincidence that we see both red and yellow here, the two main colours of both blurry face and trench, a 
And as this album is a continuation of that story, it makes sense that we would see both of them repeated here. This is actually confirmed by Tyler in a behind the scenes clip uploaded to Instagram. We can also see another direct callback to Blurry Face. On the right hand side of the album, you can faintly see what clearly looks like the face that is on the inside of the Blurry Face album cover. Now let's talk about the tour. The Clancy World Tour is set to begin on the 15th of August this year and finishes in May 2025, with as of now 72 shows. Of course, this being a massive increase from the affected pandemic numbers. And finally, the final music video for the album, Paladin Straight, was released on the 21st of June 2024. So this brings us up to present day, right? Well, no, not really. It's time we discuss what might come next. Just be sure to remember that some of this will involve some speculation. Part of this speculation of what might be coming next from the band stems from what fans think are hints that have been left in the digital remains version of the album. Some of these hints are like puzzle pieces that need to be put together, and some of them are a bit more plausible than others. And it does seem like there is more to come from the band, but what exactly this is isn't clear yet. It is possible that this could be a deluxe version of the album that finishes up the storyline, because as it stands now, there are still a couple loose ends that need to be answered. But I'm not completely sure that it needs a full new album for that, and that's why I think the deluxe version of the album makes sense, and I also think that makes sense when you look at where the band is in the industry. It's very common to have a deluxe version of an album with a couple extra songs on, but I think we'll have to wait till the tour finishes before we see any of that. Thanks for watching.